For this lesson, we will focus on the post adjustment trial balance. Now the specific objectives for this lesson is as follows, to define the post adjustment trial balance and to draw up a post adjustment trial balance. Before we do that, let's have a look at the following. The pre adjustment trial balance means before the adjustment trial balance and the post adjustment trial balance means after the adjusted trial balance and finally the post closing trial balance means after closing transfers has been done on the trial balance our post adjustment trial balance comprises of a list of balances of our assets our owners equity and our liabilities after the year end adjustments has been taken into account let's have a look at the following the following is a list of accounts and balances extracted from the books of Adelic Traders as at the year ended 31 December 2018. Now before we construct our trial balance, we need to know which accounts should be debited and which accounts should be credited. We should use the following guidelines. Our assets and our drawings and our expenses should be debited in our trial balance and our liabilities our income and our capital should be credited in our trial balance so now let's have a look at our first account our first account is land and buildings if we were to classify land and buildings it will fall under our assets and so we should debit our land and buildings in our trial balance so we will put debit next to land and buildings just to remember that when we draw up our trial balance we will put the amount of land and buildings on the debit side our next account is sales returns on our list of accounts sales returns is under our expenses and that means that we will debit our sales returns our next account is purchases returns Purchases returns is under our income and we will credit our purchases returns. After purchases returns we have equipment. If we go to our list of accounts we can see that equipment falls under assets so we will debit our equipment in the trial balance. Our next account is creditors. Creditors are our liabilities therefore we will credit our creditors in the trial balance and from here on out you can complete the rest of the accounts so now let's have a look at our adjustments we are required to draw up a post adjustment trial balance of Adelic traders as at 31 December 2018 our first adjustment reads as follows Inventory on hand 31 December 2018, 6,700. Now our closing inventory adjustment, we will not enter in our post adjustment trial balance. So we can move on to the next adjustment. The account of a debtor, Lia Shipo, 1,200, was written off as bad. The two accounts we have is Lia Shipo, which is a debtor, and bad debts. So now we can go on our list of balances and highlight these accounts so that we know we need to make adjustments for them. We have our debtors and then we have our bad debts account. So now by marking our accounts like this, it will make it easier for us to do the adjustments. Our next adjustment is telephone account in arrears $470. The two accounts we have is telephone and accrued expenses. But our accrued expenses is not on our list of balances. So we will need to add that to our trial balance. But the account that is in our list of accounts is telephone. So let's go ahead and highlight telephone in our list of balances. There we are. So now we know when we need to do our adjustments, we need to do an adjustment for our telephone account. Our next adjustment 
is monthly insurance premium is 650 insurance is paid until March 2019 remember our year end is December 2018 so this is a prepayment the two accounts we have is insurance and our prepaid expenses and our prepaid expenses is not in our list of accounts so we need to add that to our trial balance but insurance is part of our list of accounts so let's go ahead and highlight our insurance account there we go so now when we do our adjustments we know that we need to do an adjustment for insurance let's move on to our next adjustment yearly interest on fixed deposit accrued the two accounts we have is interest on fixed deposit and this account is not in our list of accounts and so we also need to add that to our trial balance and then our accrued income which is also not in our list of accounts so we will need to add that account to our trial balance as well so for this adjustment we will not do any highlighting in our list of accounts our next adjustment is rent has been received for 14 months as we can see here we have received rent for 14 months so this is income received in advance and this is not in our list of accounts so we will need to add that to our trial balance but the account we have in our list of balances is rent income so we can go ahead and highlight that there we go so now when doing our adjustments we know that we need to do an adjustment for rent income Depreciation on vehicles is charged at 12% per annum straight line method. Now our depreciation is not on our list of accounts so we need to add that to our trial balance. But our provision for depreciation is on our list of accounts so let's go ahead and highlight that. There we go. Let's have a look at our last adjustment. Depreciation on equipment is charged at 15% per annum reducing balance method so we have our depreciation which is not on our list of accounts but we have our provision for depreciation account which is on our list of accounts so let's go ahead and highlight that there we go now we are finished highlighting the accounts that we have to prepare adjustments for 